start. Um, look, just on on tonight, um, you know, you, you have your good nights and your bad nights, and, and tonight was just one of those things. Uh, th I don't think it changes anything in regards to who Tim Zoo is, and it probably, if anything, showed the warrior that lives in inside him that um, uh, he's never going to back down from anyone. Um, and whenever Tim Zoo fights, I tell you, he'll always show up. So from from us. We're still super proud and I know all the techs I got from Australia are you know, right behind Tim and, and you know, it's just one of those nights and I'll let you fly away if you question. Tim, did that you um, first head clash unnerve you at all when you obviously thought you may have reopened that wound at all? I can't recall. Yeah, Tim, you just on that. Did, did, I felt like when you got buzzed early that you kind of maybe lost your feet a little bit and just had to fight on instinct after that point? I can't recall. Mm -hmm. Honestly, yeah. can't recall. <laughs> Tim, Kevin Garcia with Fight Hype. Yeah. Uh, here's my question. Just yeah. explain whatever you're thinking about right now after that. You, you know, obviously, I don't want to ask you how do you feel because we know it's a tough loss for you. Mm. But just what's going through your mind? Uh, what the fuck just happened? Like, what did I get hit with? And couldn't regroup. And I don't know, man. Just, shit doesn't go your way. And. You just have to, you just have to bounce back, you know, and I, I was positive after the Fandora, but i got to find more answers with this one, you know, like, this didn't go according to script, um, it was a little bit different, I felt unbelievable, I'll be honest with you, felt unbelievable, I had a great prep, so, he got me, man, and it was a better man on this night, and, we live and we learn. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, guys.